Hello and welcome to Simplenus YouTube channel. In this video, we will cover a complete roadmap for learning SQL. So if these type of videos you like to watch, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. So without any further ado, let's get started. Imagine you are working at Facebook, where millions of people are constantly posting updates, liking photos and commenting on your posts. And to keep running everything smoothly, Facebook uses SQL. When you post a status update, SQL saves it to the database. When your friends like or comment on your post, SQL quickly finds and shows you this information. SQL links all these actions together, making sure everything works seamlessly. By learning SQL, you can manage and organize large amount of data efficiently, just like Facebook does to keep its users connected and engaged. That is why SQL is one of the best language for database management, which stands for Structured Query Language. SQL is a programming language made for managing and working with relational databases. It lets users to easily retrieve, insert, update, and delete from databases. So this video will guide beginners through the key steps and concepts needed to become skilled in SQL. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And if you want to become SQL certified, so here is a quick info for you. Try a SQL certification course by Simply Learn. This course gives you all the information you needed to successfully start working with SQL databases and make use of the database in your applications. Learn how to correctly structure your database, author efficient SQL statement and clauses, and manage your SQL database for scalable growth. Key features of this course are covered basic to advanced SQL concept, dedicated live session, self paced learning modules, hands on project, engaging learning experience featuring demo sessions, industry recognized certified upon completion. This course is open to anyone interested in learning SQL. No prior experience in programming or database is required. So check out the course link from the description box below and the pin comment. To become a SQL developer, you should follow a structured plan. So here is a step-by-step -step guide to help you to learn SQL and start your career in this field. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the number one is start understanding RDBMS. The first step in learning SQL is to get to know the most popular relational database management system, RDBMS. These systems are the base for using SQL. The four most common RDBMS are Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL. So the first one is Oracle. Oracle database created by Oracle Corporation is a top RDBMS known for being scalable, reliable, secure, and high performing. The second one is MySQL. MySQL is a popular free and open source RDBMS known for its ease to use, reliability, security, and scalability. The third one is Microsoft SQL Server. Developed by Microsoft Corporation, SQL Server is a flexible RDBMS trusted for secure and efficient data storage. The last one is PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL is a free and open source RDBMS known for its advanced feature and robustness. The next step is pick an ID. After you understand RDBMS, the next step is to choose and install Integrated Development Environment RDE. So some popular IDs for SQL development are PG Admin, an open source platform for managing and querying PostgreSQL databases. It has many tools for database management. The second one is MySQL Workbench, a visual tool for designing, developing and managing MySQL databases. It integrates SQL development and administration. The third one is Azure Data Studio, a modern open source and cross-platform tool by Microsoft that supports multiple database systems like SQL Server, PostgreSQL, and MySQL. The fourth one is Oracle SQL Developer, a free ID from Oracle that helps in developing and managing Oracle databases. The third step is learning the basic SQL commands. The main goal of learning SQL is to master the basic command. So these commands are grouped into four main categories. First one is data manipulation language. The second one is data definition language, DDL. The third one is DCL. And the fourth one is TCL. 
So data manipulation language, DML, these commands are used to work with the data in the databases. The main DML commands are insert, update, delete, and many more. The second one is data definition language, DDL. These commands are used to set up and change the structure of database like creating, altering, or deleting tables, indexes, and views. The main DDL commands are create, alter, drop, and truncate. The third one is DCL, data control language. These commands are managed, use of permissions, and access to the database. The main DCL commands are grant and revoke. The fourth one is TCL, transaction control language. These commands control transaction in the databases. The main TCL commands are commit, rollback, and save point. The fourth step is understand SQL keywords. SQL keywords are important for performing tasks in a database like retrieving and managing data. Some commonly used SQL keywords include, the first one is select, used to retrieve data from a database. The second one is from, specifies the table from which to retrieve or delete data. The third one is where, filter results to include only records that meet certain criteria. The fourth one is order by sorts the retrieved data in ascending or descending order. The next is insert into, adds new rows to a table. The next is update, modifies existing data in a table. The next is delete, removes data from a table. The another one is create table, creates a new table in the databases. The another one is drop table, deletes an existing table in the databases. The last one is alter table, modifies, adds, or deletes columns in an existing table. And the fifth step is master SQL data types. So understanding SQL data types is crucial for storing and handling data in a database. The most common SQL data types are, the first one is string data types, used for text, names, and addresses. The second one is numeric data types, used for numbers like integers and decimals. The third one is date and time data types used for storing dates and times. So these three are the common data types in SQL. So the next step is know the types of SQL operators. SQL operators are symbol used for perform different operation on database. The main types of SQL operations are, the first one is arithmetic operators, used for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponential, and modulus operation. The second one is logical operators used to combine two or more relational statements like all, and, any, some, like. The third one is comparison operator, used to compare the contents of a field with another field or a constant. So after learning SQL operators, let's jump into the seventh point, learn about SQL data constraints. So constants are the rules that limit the type of data allowed in a table, ensuring accuracy and reliability. If a constant is violated, the action will be stopped. The most common SQL data constant are, the first one is not null. Ensures a column cannot have a null value. The second one is unique. Ensures all the values in a column or a group of columns are unique. The third one is primary key. Uniquely identifies each row in a table, combines not null and unique. And the next one is check. Ensure all the values in a column meet a specific condition. And the next step is learn about SQL normalization forms. Normalization is organizing data in a database to reduce redundancy and improve integrity. So there are several levels of normalization, each with specific rules. So the first one is 1NF, first normal form. And the second one is second normal form, 2NF. The third one is third normal form, 3NF. And the fourth one is boy scored normal form BCNF. And the next step is explore advanced SQL concept. As you advance in SQL, explore more complex topics to enhance your skills. So the first one is joins. Learn to merge data from different tables based on common conditions using various types of joins like inner join, left join, right join, or full join. The second thing is indexes. Improve query performance by creating and managing indexes, which is speed up data retrieval, especially for large data sets. The third is subqueries. Use queries within other queries to retrieve data from the multiple table at once, allowing for more complex data operation. The fourth one is recursive queries. 
Right queries that call themselves until a condition is met. Useful for working with hierarchical or self-referencing data. The last one is pivot and unpivot. Use pivot to aggregate multiple rows into one and unpivot to transform column into rows, helping to reformat and analyze data. So becoming good at SQL takes time, effort, and a love for learning new things. By following this step-by-step -step plan, you can learn SQL well. You will build solid understanding and gain the skills to handle data in databases efficiently. So with this, we have come to end of this video. If you have any queries or any doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.